Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have a General Tso's Healthy Choice Chicken Meal. And we're talking about Borderlands 3 at E3. Fantastic. So guys, guys, this obviously is not one of my normal meals, but I mean, it was laying around, so I figured I'd try it. A General Tso's Chicken meal and this is a steamer um it's definitely super hot still got the plastic on let's just peel this bad boy Ooh, steam burn in my hand peel that bad boy open i mean wow that that actually i mean for being wrapped in plastic as a pre-made meal that doesn't look half bad look at those veggies the rice the the sauce is actually on the bottom i'm supposed to dump this whole thing basically into the sauce it's super hot right now, super hot. And speaking of super hot, Borderlands at E3, oh man, I am so psyched, so psyched for Borderlands 3. It is a excellent, excellent addition to the Borderlands series. Sorry, I'm trying, trying to focus and not burn myself. I'll set this over here. So once we mix it into the sauce, it's going to get a little bit more messy, but I mean, that sauce should have some tang, some bite. And this was actually on the box, it did have a spice level of 5 out of 5, so may require a drink here. I don't see any like chili peppers, but there are like red peppers mixed in here. And uh, yeah, the new Borderlands 3 gameplay at E3. Wow, they're showing the mech jockey, the mech jockey gameplay and... <laughs> as a class. She looks fantastic. She looks amazing. The guns, the weaponry, the play, the new parkour system, or um, I forget what they call it, traversal system. Not quite sure. Uh, it all looks just like it's panning out to be a, a really good pickup to the addition of the series, of course. I really want them to show Flack. Flack is going to be my main, of course. I love the Hunter-esque Beastmaster style classes, as you guys probably have seen from this channel. It's just the class I'm, I'm drawn to the most. Um, let's try this. Ooh, pretty hot. Oh yeah. Oh, that, that sauce does have a definitely like chili uh, pepper flavor to it. Very spicy. But uh, the rice, the veg, the, the chicken, it's all kind of cooked really, really well. Perfect microwave meal, I guess, on the go. Low calorie, high in the vegetable count, which is good. Not quite sure about the sodium levels in this. I expect them to be high, as with all microwave food. But still, it's all right. Once in a while, it's all right. So now that E3 is here, we have seen three out of the four classes for Borderlands 3. And they all look really good. They all look like they're going to fit into someone's play style. Um... The guns look amazing. Total variation on every weapon. I like that the manufacturers get their own little unique flavor this time around to kind of spice up that variety of all the weapon types. Ooh. Definitely spicing up my mouth with this chili sauce. Whew, it, it is flaming hot. Not like intense but it's still got a kick and then I, like I said before guys I'm just waiting I'm just I'm so hyped I'm ready to see the Beastmaster Flack and all of his class abilities the three different pets that he'll have and uh, speaking of pets the the operative has his drone the mech jockey has the mech of course and the mech the mech ability even though they didn't show it off too much it looks intensely good like super good
you're basically jumping into a tank with rockets, Gatling guns. I didn't have enough time to really check out all of the class mods or the skill trees, but it looks like you can customize the weaponry on it. Customize what happens when you uh, get in and out in certain skill trees and just overall awesomeness. I am kind of wondering how it's going to work with the um, gunner system because when she summons it she automatically goes into it but if you have an ally playing with you um, they can actually get into the mech into the turret and start gunning from the top of it I guess I'm not quite sure we'll have to see how that pans out I think that's kind of one of the things that Borderlands has been missing for a long time is like interactions between skill trees for characters and other characters kind of that synergy of being on a squad a few classes throughout the expansions have kind of had ally interaction abilities like the Countess or um, Saint and Wolf for example healing and protecting allies or just generally doing buffs but still the more interaction between your actual squad mates if you're not a solo player is is well deserved and well received within the community I'm surprised this rice and chicken turned out as good as it did microwaving this. They seem to be like, I guess, freeze-dried uh, freeze types of foods in that bowl. And then the steam kind of rehydrates them as it microwaves a little bit. Interesting concept. Guys, let me know what you think about Borderlands at E3, the new Borderlands information we're getting every day. It's almost here, guys. It's like a couple more months, and we're into Borderlands territory. So feel free to let me know what you think about the upcoming Borderlands series and what character you're going to play. Possibly what spec, even though we don't really know a lot about the specs yet, other than, you know, screenshots, videos, etc, etc. Definitely, definitely going to need some water after this video. Oh, this is kind of burning up my mouth a little bit, but it's well, well deserved because it's delicious. The new Borderlands info is delicious. Everything is delicious. Guys, remember to game, eat, and discuss. As always, I will catch you in the next one. Check that out. Not bad. <laughs>